So evolutionarily, uh, as I mentioned about 8 million years ago, we broke off from other primates because we started eating meat, started eating more meat and more meat and started having these genetic and physical adaptations, these phenotypical adaptations uh, that, that we, we see in the fossil record. We started becoming more upright. We started becoming taller. We started having smaller and smaller teeth, smaller jaws, bigger brains. And we started using tools because we had to figure out how to take down animals that outclassed us by every physical metric, like a mastodon or even a deer. Then we came into an ice age, which we're still actually a part of. And these ice sheets came down, they killed off the plants, they killed off the animals that ate the plants and weren't able to survive during the ice times. And really only these big megafauna and big fuzzy full furry mammals like mastodons, giant sloths and things like that were able to survive during this, this period. And then the carnivores and, and predators that were preying on them, our ancestors being among them, or at least adapted enough to survive during that time because we were eating meat and because we were eating these animals and became uh, basically reliant on pure animal nutrition because there, there weren't the plants available. can also look at this from the fossil record and uh, something called the stable isotope study. So stable uh, nitrogen studies, they can find this in the bones of any animal. And you can see what that animal ate. And if the there's basically it, it builds up uh, throughout the food chain. So animals that just eat plants, they will get a certain amount of this stable nitrogen. And then animals that eat that animal, they'll have a concentration of that nitrogen and so on. So as you go up the food chain, you get up to the top, you know, like a, you know, a fish that eats algae, there's a fish that eats that fish, a fish that eats that fish, and so on up the chain till you get to sharks and orca whales and things like that. And so you can see that these are top of the food chain apex predators. And we actually see that our ancestors and early humans and even early homo sapiens and Neanderthal were apex predators. They had a higher carnivore rating than even lions, foxes, hyenas uh, around at the same time in the same location. Okay. So this is because our ancestors were eating the lions and hyenas and foxes and wolves uh, as well. We have done this, looked at the uh, done stable isotope analysis of the ancient Egyptians, and so they looked at the stable isotope study and they found that you know the, that during the agricultural revolution, post agricultural revolution, that they were actually heavily eating grains, and this actually affected their health. We can look at these and we actually see atherosclerotic plaques in their hearts, and and this was first thought to be that the pharaohs and wealthy were the ones eating all of this, um, you know, eating all the, the rich food and they could afford meat and fat. And so obviously they were getting uh, fatty arteries because they were eating fatty meat. But that actually isn't the case. When you look at the stable isotope studies, we find that the, the normal peasant class were eating the same amount or the same uh, kind of food. And you can even see from their statuary that this is uh, not not actually the you know the peak of uh, of human health here. This is the, this is the statue of a man who has clear gynecomastia and a pot belly. Okay, so that already is showing this this dysregulation of health and hormonal health. A major study that was done out of uh, the University of Tel Aviv in Israel from uh, uh, Professor Mickey Bendor. This showed that humans have been hypercarnivorous, apex predators for at least 2 million years. So, again, apex predators, top of the food chain. This is what that stable isotope study shows is that we actually were top of the food chain. Apex predators don't graze. I've never seen a great white shark eat shark eat kelp for roughage. I've never seen a lion eat grass for the same reasons. This is not what apex predators do. This is not what top of the food chain animals do. They eat animals. They eat the animals below them on the food chain. DoctorsToTrust.com, the world's number one site for short, annotated nutrition videos.